basically up to the stone throw in. It's another, it's a small little in. It's just a little bit off the beaten track from where the, the tree fired and stone. <laughs> huh? It's just a stone's throw away. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> or a child's fall away. Yeah. And you just get outside and this little young hobbit appears and he takes the reins off Morin and goes, oh, I'll take it around to the stables for you. Oh, now it'd be nice to, to to Kitty hang on, and I'll go up and I'll feed her another carrot. Yeah, talk to you soon. Now be gentle with her; she, you know, gets a bit spooked. Well, you will, Master. Strange dwarf. places. Don't you worry. Uh, and you? get that neck looked at. <laughs> <laughs> so he's going. He's going to the inn, and give me a perception check, please. Oh, right. Everyone. Everyone. Yay! Hey, my perception's risen this week because I fixed my stats. No. I got a non-natural 20. Woo! Perception again? Well, I roll, I changed my dice and I rolled 15 plus 4 is 19. Ooh. Ooh, That's twice now I've gotten that roll. Week. It's not going to last this, this well. Oh. I got an 8. You <laughs> got a bad dice. <laughs> and I will roll for once. Hey! I got a tree. <laughs> <laughs> it appears Bilbo has gone blind in his old age. I wasn't even rolling for Bilbo, I was just rolling for me. <laughs> so you just look around and you see there's a group of dwarfs in one corner. There's a couple of local, well, a couple of hobbits. You think they're locals uh, on another table. There's... The owner and probably his wife behind the bar and there's a couple of kids kind of milling around, giving people drinks and serving people. So what is what I do? Someone should go ask for a... Is there any room? Are we staying at the end? We are, we? Are we yeah, staying Bill, here? We are. Bilbo goes, ah, don't worry. I've already uh, sent word ahead. We already have uh, two rooms, one big room for me and you all share another room. Oh, lovely. Thanks. Oh, I, I thought it'd be hobbits in one room and the others in the other. But, oh, okay. Yeah. There will be no segregation here, my dwarf friend. <laughs> Good I didn't to mean know. it in that way. Jesus, you <laughs> went to a dark place, didn't you? <laughs> Using big yeah, words. Been, he's been to many dark places, from what I've heard. I was saying you two know each other so you'd be comfortable in the room together. That's all. No, Even a little I, space. I like my room. comforts and I'd be studying the math and I don't want to keep poor Gil up all night. So I'm, I'm nice. we're apparently two lunatics. <laughs> we, would, we would get on fantastically. Yeah, us lunatics should stick together. Yep. Well, yes, will be. Uh, on a on a different <laughs> note though, uh, <laughs> and I whisper to Luke Fang, just one question. What does lunatic mean? It means somebody interesting who's fun to talk to. Oh, my family are like that. Ah, oh, deadly. I ain't had that for my name then. Six. So Bilbo goes, ah, go get a seat and I'll go up and I'll sort the rooms and some more drinks. Bilbo just kind of saunters over. Ah, oh, my good man, it's me, Bilbo Baggins, and I have booked two rooms. And he goes, ah, yeah, no problem. I'll get my one of my kids to go up and sort them out for you. And do you have any luggage? Yeah, Are you bringing your luggage in or leaving it out? And, uh... um, I mean, it's safe, isn't it? We're in, we're in the Shire still, aren't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'd say, I'd say it's pretty safe, wouldn't you? Yeah, um, yeah. Well, if it all fits in the backpack. Run up with... Well, there's only a backpack, like. I'll bring it in. I think, I don't know. Yeah, do you know what the kids are doing? It. Bring it in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he has no problem and he kind of clicks his finger and goes Mungo go out and get a <laughs> this this group's uh, luggage and bring it up to our rooms please he goes yes father <laughs> he runs I off I wish my children were that well behaved and they're well trained the click <laughs> <laughs> so the barman goes ah, I'm a uh, Thomas, and this is my wife, Gilda. We're the Bunces. Bunces? The Bunces, yeah. Why, have you heard of us? 
No, just it was it was Lee talking. Did you just write it down. <laughs> Bunces. The Bunces. Thomas Bunce. And Mungo have, Bunce. And you just have met a Bunce before. We yeah, have we? Yeah. Your forced adventure. God, that was like a thousand years ago. Like, can we get a, a history roll to remember? Yeah. See if I can remember really? that. Bunce. Bunce. Uh, not Baldo Bunt. I don't it think is. there is history, That's is it? The no, there's no history. Yeah, well, we knew that. Lee remembers anyway. Last time. It's Bunt. Bunt. He goes, why did you ever hear of us before? Yeah, we've met um, Baldo. Ah, that's my brother. He's in a uh, way neat. How is he? I haven't seen him in a long time. I have to go up and visit the old bugger. He's, 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 he's good. Yeah, he's he good. I heard he was having L problems. Yeah. Yep, yeah, we sorted that out. It's fine. He's all sorted. Him and his donkey are doing great. That's good to hear. Uh, uh, take, do you want any drinks or food? or? I mean... I think our, our dwarf friends may have a drink. <laughs> um, ah, okay, you're twisting my arm, I'll have a drink. Doesn't take much. I'll have a, a, <laughs> bit, a bit of mead, please. Yeah, no problem. Uh, what about... And um, Bilbo goes, I'll have a... Just give us a bottle of wine. I'll bring you down to the table. And give my, an my... My dwarf friend here will have a bottle of mead. There'll be a bottle of ale for my little friend Gil here. And... So I'll, I'll, no, I'll have a small ale. I'll mix it up. I'll have a small ale. <laughs> and another bottle of ale for my... Man friend here. <laughs> that, sound, that sounds suspicious, Bilbo. You may want to reword that. <laughs> so he goes, I just start a tab and I'll settle with you in the morning and just bring it down to the table. So you all go down to the table and you can see people kind of looking at you and the dwarves in the corner. One is kind of looking at Gail really intensely. Uh-oh. Psst, do you know him? Orin. What? Who's that? Do you know that dwarf? Um, and I squint. Um, do I? Um, you just have met them, yeah, in Bree. They did the ones I first spoke to? Yeah. The dwarf, the dwarf kind of stands up and goes, ah, it's the little songbird. Are you going to give us a song tonight? Are you, Hobbit? Oh, not tonight, sorry. Uh, late night. Been, been a long day. And there's Morin. You going to get drunk again and pass out in the corner? And his three mates start giggling to each other. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> You know, uh, you weren't funny back then, and you're not funny now. I'm quite funny. It's well, made, it's made if you are, then you wouldn't, you wouldn't mind giving us a bit of a song. Let Gil take a break. Like you say. Later on, I'll have a song. We haven't drank enough. We're too busy hiding in here because of the stupid ghosts. <laughs> you're believing in the ghosts, too. <laughs> That's the talk of East Farding at the moment. There's ghosts up at that stupid stone up there, and we're trying to get all the way up into Tyfield, up to up in West Farding. We have some business up there, but it's our business. And you haven't gone up to have a look and sort out the ghosts. You've been fine dwarves yourselves. If there's no coin, we don't do it. But I wouldn't stop you or your fine gentleman here. Hmm. 
And I kind of whisper under my breath, you wouldn't be able to try. What was that? (laughs) Sorry, I got a bit of a cough. Probably from working down the mines, the black lung. (laughs) (laughs) Well, you wouldn't know anything about that, would you? No. Work, that is. (laughs) And his mates start kind of mumbling behind him. Get a dig, get a dig. (laughs) He's like, no, it's grand. Don't hold me back, hold me back. He just goes, he just, he just scoffs and goes, nah, you're not worth it. He goes and sits back down. They all kind of huddle together, drinking and talking. Thought so. Come on, Gil, let's go back. Let's leave these uh, brave dwarves to their drink. Okay, let's go. So, so you're making friends already then, Morin? Uh, um, well, I wouldn't call them friends, unfortunately. They're, they're, it's dwarves like that that give us a bad name. Dwarves like that to yeah, give here. everyone a bad name. Yeah. Well, hopefully they won't be doing anything or saying anything until they've had a couple of more drinks. So all these people will be left alone for a while. The drinks get brought down to the table with one of the kids and she goes, anything else? Mungo. Just... It's, not, it's not Mungo. <laughs> <laughs> Mungo's bringing your stuff upstairs. I room. think Bungo's oh. finished their shift now. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Tom's goes, ah, do you just want any food, lads? I've not long yet. I'm okay. What about you, Mr. Morin? Oh, actually, you know what? I'm shocked saying this, but I've lost my appetite for the moment. And I give a look over at those and very, very rude dwarves. <laughs> they kind of they see you looking and they kind of glance away. Can 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 I ask what what's um what's the worst thing on the menu? Uh, we don't do bad things. We only have the best food in all of the fardings. Okay, so if there was any food that you would mix with meat and give yourself a really sore head the next morning. Is there anything you can think of that we could possibly send three plates of over to the, the dwarves over there? Just to make sure they have a nice morning, if you get what I mean. You want me to drug them? <laughs> well, not drug them, but, you know, if something spicy happens to fall into the food, yeah, it wouldn't I... be the end of the world. Gosh, I, I can't be doing that. That'll give us a bad reputation, and then uh, I, I can't be doing that. Uh, give us a, a dexterity roll there, Lu Fang. Dexterity? <laughs> Dex <clears throat> roll. Dex roll. So just, Dex roll. I've got a save as well, haven't I? Woohoo. I got 12 plus 2. Do we need to use a save? No, that's fine. You don't get a shadow point for trying to drug them. <laughs> I was thinking practical joke, but again, I was dark. thinking practical joke. I was just thinking a bit of something spicy, just to you know get your own back in a sly little. Yeah, but way. you didn't say spicy. You just said give them a bad head. Well, if you wanted to give them the shits, you could have just sent it to her. I thought you were trying to kill them. Okay. Uh, uh, what, were the, what were the the names of those you're, dwarves again? You're trying to corrupt a little kid, for God's sake. Uh, yes, they, the dwarf was called Ergi Broadbean. Broadbean. Ergi Broadbean. Ergi E R G I Broadbean. Okay. And his scoundrel companions. <laughs> He's gone on the list. Yeah, I've also <laughs> made a poop list for him. I've never ever met a dwarf I didn't like. Maybe it's just misunderstood. Nope, yeah. we're going to kill him. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to send him a harsh yeah. letter, but what the hell? Murder. Oh, he insulted our kill and I didn't like it. Murder, murder, yeah. murder. <laughs> anyway, Thanks, yes. So that's aside. What's the next, guys? So as I said, you're sitting down, you're drinking away. 
Bilbo's kind of wandered off and he's talking to a couple of hobbits over yonder. The three dwarves, or the four dwarves are still sitting there kind of drinking and making a nuisance of themselves. And the bar staff are still just kind of standing there. The kids have disappeared at this stage because it's getting late. So what what do you want to do? Um, I mean, just little chat between ourselves, not out loud, so Bilbo can hear us. Um, what is is there anything we can do while we're here? While we take advantage of this sort of trip, you know, anything we can find out while we're here? Anybody look like they can help us out with our journey? Who are you asking? I mean, Everyone openly, the two of them. Um, I don't notice anybody else that we might kind of. I guess. I guess all we gotta do is fall asleep and wait till morning, right? Just as you are talking, Thomas kind of walks out from behind the bar and goes, "Ladies, gentlemen, dwarves, as this fine inn is so uh, packed tonight, I." I'm going to announce we're going to have a smoke ring blown contest. The prize is 10 silver pennies and a jug of mead. The dwarves go, Rawr! <laughs> she goes, just come up to the bar and write your name down and then we'll we'll start in half an hour. Hmm. Do either of you know how to blow rings? I don't. I know, I know you're going to be shocked, but I'm... Oh, go on, Gil, sorry. I'm, I have a very good pipe proficiency. So you know what I mean? it's <laughs> That's a very strange way of saying you smoke a lot. <laughs> That's cool if you are. I don't smoke a lot. I just can smoke a lot. Um, Bilbo comes back over. So who's gonna who's gonna defend our group in this contest? I'll go. I'll go, Mister Bilbo. I'll go. Go That's on the gill. That's why you're my favourite, Gil. He slaps you on the back. Yeah. Go on. So oh. uh, Gil goes off and writes his name. But really small because he's actually famous. Can he write, uh, can he write Gil the Wog Slayer? <laughs> <laughs> Gil and Ergie, the boys. Ergie Brobeam walks up and he writes his name and just stares at his. And then two of the other hobbits from the other table walk up and they write their name down. Thomas goes, ah, great stuff. So we have uh, one, two, three, four contestants. So I'll just roll to see who goes first. Mess him up, Gil. Mess him up. There's no four-sided dice, so... <laughs> Don't have any fours. I will have four if you want me to roll for you. We're divided the eight. I got six of that one. <laughs> yeah, six so. on the D4. <laughs> so, first up, we have Ergie Broadbeam, and his mates go, Hooray! The way I like this, mm-hmm. at the table. Mm-hmm. The way we're, way we're going to do this, I'm just going to roll performance checks, and then the you do it, and then we'll see who. Would it be 12 or D- we, do, we do three different rounds. Which, which dice, sorry? D20. Okay. So Ergie rolls first and he gets a 19. And he takes a, a big puff and he blows this big, huge ring that kind of folds in on itself and becomes like a eternity symbol. <laughs> <laughs> and his mates go, Hooray! and he just looks all smug to himself and kind of gestures you to go next. And then I roll a Thomas 12. goes up next. Oh, okay. Up next we have Guild the Warg Slayer. When I let so you yeah, roll, I roll... <laughs> oh, do we roll again. Yeah, go on. Oh, Eleven. <laughs> so what kind of <laughs> what kind of ring do you blow? Um. <laughs> A, a, like an average size one, but with a thinner outer one. So it's like a double ring, like a double rainbow, mm. but 
a double ringer. So then he goes, well done, well done. And up next we have Tolman Maggot. And his little group go, hey! He gets a two and he takes a big puff and then starts coughing all over the place. <laughs> the old, everyone starts laughing at him and he kind of skulks off. Joke, Bad joke, man. joke, joke, joke. joke. <laughs> <laughs> and last but not least, Lily Broadbent. <laughs> and she gets Jim Broad. Two- Jim Broadbent's daughter. <laughs> <laughs> and she gets an 18. Jesus. What did your man get? 19 with her? 19, right, 18. Yeah. Yeah. So she gets an 18 and she takes a big hails it and blows one and it, it kind of goes up and smashes through Gil's one and just nearly goes in and hits the eternity symbol but it just kind of fades away and they go hey and then Thomas goes well round one goes to Ergy Broadbeam Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. So, <laughs> round two will go Gilforst. Gil, I don't know Gil, why I'm Gil, talking Gil, like Gil, this. Gil, Gil, <laughs> Gil. And it is an 18. Yes. And Ooh. I do a... That's... Um, it comes out... It looks like a circle and then it starts spinning and becomes like a looped circle, like a, a slinky spinning around on itself. Everyone goes, hey! Uh, Ergie steps up. And he gets a tree. And he <laughs> inhales a bit, but a bit of it kind of goes up his nose and he kind of sneezes and all the fucking, all the <laughs> smoke comes out of his nose like a dragon. He's like, Rawr! can I, can our whole table It's cold. Ah! <laughs> oh. Shit! Ah! <laughs> yeah. Then Tolman gets up, he gets a tree as well, and he does the same as he did the first time, and his group are like, why are you even bothering? <laughs> <laughs> why did we pick the guy with no mouth? <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't even smoke. <laughs> and then Lily gets up, and she rolls a six. So she inhales, and she tries to do her kind of our strong blast thing again, but it kind of fails. And he goes, this round goes to kill the Warg Slayer. <laughs> Go on, the girl. <clears throat> he goes, round three will start just after the short break. <laughs> and <laughs> Thomas brings around fresh drink for everyone, so they can kind of <laughs> catch their breath a bit. And Bilbo goes behind Gil and he's rubbing his shoulders. Come on, champ. <laughs> Come on, champ. <laughs> you can do it. <laughs> You're a bum. <laughs> Gil, you have him on the ropes. Getting a bit of the black lung at the minute. <laughs> More enough, you deal with that. <laughs> they say it's best not to inhale. Oh. That's the opposite of what I have to do, but okay. Bilbo takes out his pipe and goes, Gil, I want you to I want you to use my pipe for this one. Ah! <laughs> he goes, I, I believe in you. And he hands oh. it to you. And so Thomas goes, first up, we have Lily Broadbent. Mm. And she rolls a tree. Jesus Christ. She inhales and then she starts <laughs> coughing all over the place because she had some wine still inside of her mouth. And then up steps Tolman. And he's kind of psyched himself up now. I'm going to win this. I'm going to win it. <laughs> he rolls a 16. This time he blows, he blows a ring that kind of just spins like a, a spin on top. And then just Ooh. disappears. And everyone's like, ooh. Then Ergie gets up. And he kind of glances over the table. And he gets a 16 as well. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> he blows one. And it kind of... So what, can, what can beat a spinning top? 
He blows another spin on top, two. but it's going the yes. opposite direction. <laughs> oh. Like in a figure eight. Yeah, and starts going over. And then he goes, Gil the Warg Slayer, it's up to you now. Gil. And everything goes massive. slow. Everything goes slow <laughs> motion, and, and Gil is turning around looking. And is there any? Is there any way we can lend him a hand here? No, no way yeah. we can help, is there? Uh, can we give him? Let's have a look. Insight. Would that help? Give me. Or could we say yeah. kind of like, Gil, you've got this in the bag. You've got my. Uh, Mr. Bilbo's pipe, and I'm sure there's something cool and magical about it that'll help you. The pipe will give you a plus two. I'll do that. Oh. Nice. Okay. Because uh... he gets a two. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay then. So my, I got an 18. So 20. <laughs> <laughs> so how do, how do you win the contest? It's my smoke comes out of the circle, starts spinning as it did before, but becomes a point and blasts through both their smoke rings. And dissipates and them. The whole place goes, Hooray! Hey! Smoking bad yeah. Go on, you Gail! We have a winner, Gail, the warg slayer and pipe blowing champion. <laughs> you raises yeah. your hand Gil. up. Gil. Gil. And uh, I hand knew up. you could do it, Gail. I didn't. Bilbo I walks sure. over, wiping, wiping a tear from his eye, and goes, I believed in you. <laughs> Give your pipe back, Mr. Bilbo. He goes, no, Gil, it's your pipe now. <laughs> I'll treasure it forever. <laughs> <laughs> so then, what's her name? The... Da, 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 da. Gilda comes over and she goes, there's your 10 silver pennies and there's your jug of mead. And she slams it on the table. <laughs> the wharves get up and well, we're going to bed. <laughs> kind of go upstairs. <laughs> the other, the war, or the other uh, hobbits come over and they're shaking your hand and like, oh, well done, well done, well done. Thank you, thanks. It wasn't just me, it was just like the war. But we all chipped in together right guys uh, we did you're, you're, um, yeah. i mean yeah we, we did yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we helped you yeah so yeah, we gave them pointers we did you'll the boys 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 that's five so thanks what what was my prize your prize is 10 silver pennies and a jug of mead and you okay, can keep so... the pipe and then put plus two performance beside it. Ooh. Ooh. You got a powerful pipe. <laughs> <laughs> so I've been told. <laughs> plus two performance. The hobbits sit down beside you and they're like, oh, so where are you off to? Hmm. Would you like to know? We all... Yeah, we all kind of. I think we all kind of look at Bilbo and be like, mm, do, what, Bilbo's like we... Bilbo just yawns and goes, I'm off to bed. I will talk to you <laughs> in the morning. Have a good time. <laughs> he kind of I hope you will, Mr. Bilbo. Have a good sleep. He goes, I will. Thank you, Morin. And he disappears right, up the stairs. Well, I'll be off to again. Sorry. We're off to. The, We're off to uh, Oat Barton. Oat Barton. Oat Barton? Oat. O A T. Oat, as in oats. Oh. As in oats and oh, whey. Oh. Yeah, we're heading up We're to, up to, to Oat Barton. <laughs> doing. Yeah, you're going up to North Farthing. That's a long trek from here. Uh, what brings you up to that end of the, the Shire? Oh, sorry, my name is... Uh, Tolman, this is Robin, my brother, and that's Lily Broadbent over there. Jim Tolman. Nice to meet you. And who are you? Sorry, I didn't catch your names. I, I know Mr. Bilbo already. I'm um, Jeffrey Normalman. Nice <laughs> to meet you. 
<laughs> Give me a deception check. <laughs> Damn, I knew I'd get that. He's <laughs> Luke. <laughs> <laughs> I got a 12. <laughs> a 12. <laughs> a 12. <laughs> what, what's he call yourself? <laughs> Remembering it again. Uh, Jeffrey Normalman. <laughs> oh, Jeffrey. I've never heard that name before. Where, where do you way. come from, Jeffrey? I, I, I come from... Um, I, well, I'm from Bree. Not originally, but I lived there for a long time. So it's home. It's home. Gosh, I'll have, the next time I'm in uh, Bree, I'll have to ask where the Normalmans live. They live all over, funnily enough. That's and, uh, and who's your little champion here? Gil? Gil, Gil. Gil. Would you like Gil, to introduce yeah. yourself? Well, I heard his yep. name because Thomas was shouting all over the place. <laughs> and what's I'm this Gil. business about being a wire killer? There hasn't been wags around here in years. There's none now because I killed it. Oh, we killed it. We killed it. You should uh, go and talk to the mayor. Like He'd love to hear that story. Oh, maybe we will. Maybe, maybe we, will. we will. And who was this dwarf fellow? Well, I was going gonna... <laughs> <laughs> to... There you go. There you go. <laughs> that's me. Or our nicknames Who? are, you've already heard what? them, but like, that's Gil, and we're the boys. I'm the, and he's boys. <laughs> I thought his name was Jeffrey. Uh, nicknames, I said. Nicknames. All right. So what's your real name? Uh, you, can, you can call me Coldbeard. Ah, because you have a blue beard. Very clever. Indeedly doobly. <laughs> <laughs> Which is Was the Warven for yes, that is correct. <laughs> I don't know much dwarfish, but it's brilliant. Um, Jeez, I, I knew a bloke that I used to talk like that. I think his name was uh, Nedley Flanderfoot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Very, very ancient. Um, like the, the dwarf, when he used to charge into battle, people used to say that his armor was like he was wearing nothing at all, you know. Not at, at all. all. Yeah, it's very hard to forget him in that armor, wearing Stupid, nothing at all. Super sexy flanderful. <laughs> <laughs> I, I heard he was um, a southpaw when he fought. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. 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 So, uh, why are you gentlemen going to Oakbarton? And why oh. are, you, are you hiding from the ghosts in here as well? Um, not really. Like, um, where are those ghosts? Uh, they come out at night just up the road at the, the tree farting stone. Have you ever seen them yourself? No, just stories. Uh, Thomas, I think Thomas up at the bar has seen them and his wife and a couple of others. Like they, they tell us stories about them all the time. You believe in it? So. Yeah, well, if I didn't, I wouldn't be here. Like well, down, in, down in the old forest, there's a, there's a right or right barrows and stuff down there. So. There's ghosts everywhere. Reef barrows. Um, are you using yeah, that? it's in the burial grounds where there's uh, ghosts that hang out there and they attack people and kill them. Nasty what? business. Oh. Hmm. Lads, the more we sit here talking, the more I want to actually see a ghost. See, the, you the have to go out and having a look. The more we sit here. The more I want to go home. <laughs> the more we sit here, the more I think, can arrows hit ghosts? We could try. And she goes, well, if he's got rid of the ghosts, then I think the people around here be very, very happy. And look how many titles your little friend has there. He's a ghost? A, yeah, a war true. killer. He's a pipe champion. <laughs> 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 His titles just go get bigger and bigger. And he hasn't I sang think... yet. No. Yeah. I, I think with the pipe champion, if his title was the pointed pipe print, that would that would have a good <laughs> ring to it. Let's go with that. See that no? three times fast. The pointed pipe print, the pointed pipe print, the pointed pipe print. Oh, oh, fair play. Good elf. Yeah, that's amazing. 
pick some of this mead good that human. I won. Good human. It could be the, good the pipe prince of the tree farting stone. Could be. <laughs> that sounds very good, Gil. What do you say? And then if you get rid of the ghosts, you can be the busters of ghosts. Oh. Oh, I like this. Warren Colbeard, buster of ghosts. I'm barmaid. I, I, <laughs> I, I think that would make me feel good. <laughs> what barmaids are? The ghosts? I leave that up to you. <laughs> I want to feel ghosts. Gil is walking by, and she's like, she just kind of looks real. <laughs> she kind of scurries off then. <laughs> so, so, oh, would you know how one would get rid of these ghosts then? Uh, I don't know. Well, if they can attack you, you can attack them, I presume. I know oh. no, no, no ghosts. Oh. I had a feeling you might say that at some point. <laughs> yeah, I'm not afraid <laughs> of them either. So, okay. Not- exist. Yeah. Go to bed. Well, we're, we're, making no, we're making no promises, but we'll look into it. Yeah. Well... Have another drink and then you just can think about it. You're just trying to get us drunk. And she goes, no, no, that's Taldo. <laughs> Taldo's like, am I? <laughs> I've never I've never been with a normal man. <laughs> <laughs> a normal human man. Yep. Yes. Human man. <laughs> Why do you keep your hood up <laughs> all the time? He's very cold. He's yeah, hideous. I've got, I have, yeah, I've got, I've got, I've Maybe got, he's standing too close to your beard. Uh, that's, that's the joke oh, I was going to say. The irony is I'm not wearing one. I'm not. Oh, oh, anyway. The beard keeps me warm just in case you're asking. Not Except that one bit that's hanging out. Disgusting. Gentlemen, the more I have of this, uh, this mead, the more I'm thinking. Maybe we should go and have a look at those these I'll ghosts. You, I'll tell you what, Warren. If you want to go out so badly, let us go and talk to the people who've actually seen them before we go. That is. Is that, is that fair? That is indeed be fair. You see, like that's why you're you're the brains of the outfit. Yeah, <laughs> wise wise old normal man. I, I just bring the looks. <laughs> yeah, and Gil's here too. A skill? How many competitions have you won? None. How many have I won? Exactly one. But, uh, <laughs> no more. No less. That's, one. that's enough. <laughs> You're one, we're zero. So, okay. Um, what do you want to do then? Do you, would, you, would you like to go and talk to Thomas then, guys? Or um, His wife, whose name escapes me at the moment. Wasn't it Glenda? Gilda. Gilda, ah, well, there's there's a reason why I don't do the talking. But yeah, yeah we'll Yo, sit yeah. up and have a look, have a talk. So he's going to the okay. bar? Okay. Yeah, we'll go yeah. over to the bar, go and have a little chat, with, little catch up with Thomas. Thomas is washing some cups. He's like, ah, oh, just want another drink, lads. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll have a drink while we're here, yeah? Yeah, well, uh, how's, uh, just while you're pouring, how's your night going? How's my what? Your night going, your evening. Sorry, your dialect is very different. <laughs> Sorry, how is your night going? That's <laughs> ah, yeah, that's fine. As you can see, the place is packed. Like we, ever since those ghosts turned up, we were busy most nights. Now it's doing great for business, but it's scaring the everyone, including my kids. That's why they're going to bed. I thought it was because they were tired, because they were working so hard. There's no, nothing wrong with working hard. Working hardly working. Hard. Well, hardly working. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Clicks his fingers and Gilda comes over. Yes, my dear. Because <laughs> ah, it drinks for here for my friends. Clicky, you so, <laughs> This would be number five. <laughs> Observation. So you're that. So you said, join your night. Yeah, yeah, we've so. had a we've had a good night, haven't we, guys? Oh, it's been this 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 mead is 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 lovely. 
<laughs> I am really I enjoy, enjoying it. Yeah, Number we, five, I think. <laughs> we brew it ourselves around here. Because uh, some beehives up the road. So we get some nice honey from the bees. Oh. Honey and ham. Mm. No, we don't have ham. That's by water. Oh, sorry. So how? What can I do you for? Well, we we heard that um, that you had somewhat of a ghost story to tell. Well, there's some strange uh, white shadows have been drifting around the uh, the tree fired in stone at night and. People say it's ghosts, others say it's uh, mournful spirits, or someone says that the, the stone is even cursed. But I don't know what to believe. Me and my wife seen some some strange things up there, so we don't really venture that way too much. We usually go the opposite way to Frog Martin. Can I, can I ask what it was that you saw? It was just, as I said, some white ghostly figures. You sure they were just people in white clothes? No, it's there. There's a yeah. difference between hobbits. And why would a hobbit be walking around in white clothes at night time? Maybe they were cooking and they got flour on them and they were going to wash themselves. And he just kind of slides the, uh, <laughs> the cup away from them. Uh, no. All right, I'll have a refill then. Thank you. Well, as I said, it's doing good for business, so I'm not complaining. So, Gil, anything? You're going funny again, Craig. Mine? For me. For everyone, Every or just you? Just like this, behind it when you're talking. No, we unplug and replug. Ugh! <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I've been shot! <laughs> <laughs> Twice. I only the ghosts have, have guns. guns. <laughs> ghost guns, no. <laughs> Not ghost guns. Oh, Any better? It sounds a yeah. bit quieter, but better. I mean, I've moved the mic away from my face, so I'm not breathing on it. Hang on. That was fast. That's worse. That's worse. <laughs> How's that? Yes, yeah, fine. Okay. Number one and number two. Number one and <laughs> oh, number two. Okay, right. Where were we? Uh, you were talking. asking them what we're gonna do. So you are staying here for the night, yeah? Um, yeah, yeah, we're staying here. Just, uh, our um, rather inebriated friends seem desperate to go out and meet the ghosts, but uh, I don't know if it's a good idea. He's, you know. I, a little bit regardless of my, my speech, everything else else is working fine. <laughs> and I do like kind of like take my axe out of where it is and throw it up into the air and catch it again. Just just my speech. Give us a acrobatics fix. Oh God! What <laughs> <laughs> right, let's see. Never what... add extra things. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No way, um, it would be strength. No. Sticks right at the top of the head. Bunk. Acrobatics, oh crap. Why couldn't it have been strength? Anyway. um, Oh, man. Can I acrobatically help him catch it and get, before it hits him in the head? <laughs> that would be good. Uh, yeah, go on. Okay, I will. Just because I'm being mean. Bounce of interest, <laughs> what did you get? That's why I'm now that you're gonna hopefully help me. I got a seven. Okay, I I could tell by the. Oh. <laughs> I am wearing my helmet though, so I'm okay. I got an eleven plus four, fifteen. That's grand. You throw it up and catch it. Well, it's and, it's falling, about to hit you in the head, and Lou Fang kind of nudges you, and you catch it. See, and if something does happen to me, I've got my friends to back me up, and vice versa. You know, so we're 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 grand. I think we'll be fine finding those ghosts because we're not afraid, you know. Thomas, Gil, kind of look, what do you think? Thomas looks at Gild and they're like, "Yeah, go ahead." Like, I if think, he's, I think if he's anyone, they've scared people. 
they hurt anyone? Well, there was one chap that the ghost kind of ran at him really quickly and he turned and ran into a barn door. Mm. Oh, that was hurt. And then they went, ooh, and disappeared. I, I once heard about a man who ran into a barn door and died. <laughs> who was I, that? Oh, it was a man over in, over in a distant land and no something and it, it, you know he ran straight into it he tried he was trying he was trying to bust the door down and he slipped banged his head died i should have been wearing a helmet that's he terrible have, that <laughs> maybe he's one of the ghosts that's, that is bad luck it is oh. anyway. must be messing about i mean messing I am, about I am, uh, yeah no 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 anyway that's a story for another time. So he goes, well, let us know if anything happens and we'll add it to the stories. Okay. Well, good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Yep. Thank you very our, much. Our, our fearless leader, Gil the Wolves, lay him away, lead the way. Uh, now, uh, are you so taking it's... anything which is like torches or... It's like a modern I think we're going to have to go and get our gear, aren't we? Your gear's up in the bedroom. Yeah, we'll have to bring yeah. some of our gear, especially. I don't know if I have dark vision. I don't even know you's, if that's the thing. No, it's not. You all have torches in your backpack, but I think uh, Morin has a an oil one or something. I have um, yeah, a hooded a, lantern, which is I love hooded lanterns, yeah. and three flasks of oil. I might have to buy more though. And you two should have something like that, is. I've. Uh, I can't remember what's in the starter pack, but to be fair, I've got elven eyes anyway, so nice. I'm grand. Uh, well, elven I eye. Oh, <laughs> oh god. No, it keeps the other one in the so. bag. Oops. <laughs> yeah. The other one's somewhere in in a creature's stomach. Somewhere. Right, so you just get your okay, so lanterns cloaks, and whatever gear you are taking. I, I'd say cloaks, a handful of weapons, yeah? Yeah, and a torch. Every, everything for the be. bedroll and the tent. Would yeah. be them. We, we might have to be, and listen to this carefully, Morin, stealthy. So we'll take stealthy. our cloaks. Yeah, that doesn't translate well. I mean, again, I forgot. Huh? What does a stealthy mean again? It it's what you do well. Moving, yeah, it's, it's your, it's, it's your thing. Gil. You're a ninja. I call it being hobbity. What? Yeah, being a hobbit. Okay, well, let's be hobbity. Okay, but about time we were a bit more hobbity, a bit less elfy, and a bit less, you know, dwarfy. <laughs> So you okay, grab your go. equipment and you head out. It takes, say, around 20 minutes to get there. Yeah. Oh. Uh, it's, pitch, it's pitch black and you just kind of, you see the, the sand and stone in the distance. I guess, I guess we'll, well, hang on. Um, I whisper this, but should I light my torch then if you want to be stealthy? Yeah. Otherwise we'll be deady. Can't yeah, I suppose. <laughs> I'm sure uh, I light the hooded lantern and I kind of put yeah. on a low setting. So bring the hood down yeah. so that it's only lighting around our feet, maybe. So what are you going to do? Like two. What are we going to do? What are we doing? I, I don't even know what we're doing. I was just following Morin. He seems desperate to meet a ghost, so... We're going up to where they said that the ghosts were. Okay, yeah, but why? What are you doing up there? Are you going to wait for the ghosts? Or are you going to hide and wait for them? Or are you what he's going to do? Well, we, I, I was... Well, hiding might be good. I was going to hear, you know, get up there and go, here, ghosty, ghosties. Kind of call <laughs> them out, like. Right, give me a nature. On a side note, oh. I am like nearly six meads to the wind. So, just saying. <laughs> Declan's been feeding them to him. Yeah. You haven't stopped drinking since we started these games. And, like. and you also <laughs> mentioned, I think Bilbo Literally. bought me a bottle. So yeah, that could mead, be yeah. probably seven meads That's to the wind at this stage. So hence the as well. stupidity of wanting to go and find ghosts. <laughs> so nature, what did I say? Nature? Nature, yeah. All of us, yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. I've got a plus seven in there. Where is nature now? 
Just so you can... 16 plus 7. Whatever that is. 24. <laughs> 24. <laughs> A 17, plus one, 17. Oh, nice. 17. You both get 17. That's grand. Even though it's dark. I got 24. Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. yeah, we got 17. <laughs> we know stuff. Yeah, well, even though it's dark, the, the dim light of the hooded lantern, you can see there's uh, the stone in the middle and there's a couple of bushes around that you could kind of hide in if you wanted to. Um, <laughs> people are hiding in bushes from ghosts. <laughs> it's all, and it's the, all uh, at this point with the bush hiders. They, there's yeah. a famous saying when in the shire, you know, hide, hide in the bush, bush. <laughs> hide in the bush. So, uh, what do you want to do? We'll go hide. hide. Um, we'll, we'll, I mean, can we, can we look around the stone and see if there's some sort of reason why the ghosts are there? Mr. DM, me, sir. If you want, give me an investigation. Investigation. I will help you with that. Well, I'll probably be more of a hindrance if I was really drunk, but I'll try. Nope. Mark got... can roll with disadvantage. Ah, I spoke too soon. <laughs> that oh, only well. <laughs> Did you do that? Okay. Well, then I got a 10. I got a 10 as well. You got a 10 as well? I got a 10, but I've got a plus 5, so 15. Oh, I rolled a nine get? and plus one, which is ten. What do you get, Gil? <laughs> ten. Plus anything? No, just think of ten. I've no got a six and a plus four on my things so of ten. Nice. Ah, okay. Yeah. I think I have a picture of the tree firing stone. I can send it to you. I think I nice. Can it. Or we could put uh, it up on the screen for viewers. Ding. Oh, yeah, but... Just so you know yeah, what it looks like. We. Oh, we could do that, could we? Don't we are fine. Gil, <laughs> Gil edits, guys, by the way. Gil the Warg Slayer. And and that's, his, the, that's his new name, Gil, Gil Edits. <laughs> Gil the Warg Slayer, the editor? Gil the editor. Gil the editor. Gil the editor. Uh, that's, that's what it looks like. Gil the God. Oh. Nice. Oh. Oh, there's okay. a thumb. Is so, that Gil leaning against it? Having a little smoke. With his new pipe. Yeah. So, so. <laughs> so yeah. You, just, you just look around. You look around the stone and you kind of... Do you want to climb up on top or anything? Anybody? Um, I mean, I'll Gil's the quickest and the well, most it's, it's the height to of, climb. It's the height of two hobbits, so you can kind of just pull yourself <laughs> up or something. What, I could what's our vision open. like? Like, I think uh, Lu Fang's got the best vision I've here. Had, yeah, yeah, I think I think I have, yeah. yeah. I have got the elven eye. Well, I won't yeah. even get you the roll, so you just pull yourself up and you have a look. There's nothing on top, really. Uh, that's it. There's nothing around that to indicate why there's ghosts coming here. Damn, I dropped me dice. There's a couple of... Uh, Hobbit teeth on the ground from the kids falling and smacking at the trees and stuff. And... <laughs> so... <laughs> um, should we try hiding then? Yeah, we'll hide and see what, what comes out during the darkness. Uh, Put give you... me another investigation check. You have to wait a second until I find me dice. <laughs> <laughs> that is the investigation <laughs> check to see if you can find it. <laughs> Yes, not 20. I found me dice. Oh, so I got a 10 again. I didn't really. That was... <laughs> no, I got you. I got you. <laughs> Investigation 10 plus 5 for me. Yeah, so 15 again. What you get, Gail? Uh, 40. 40? 40. <laughs> Is that including your plus, yeah? Oh, 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 18. 18. 18. All right, so you're <sighs> scram going over towards one of the bushes and you find three sh white sheets hidden in one of the bushes nearby. I told you. Wait, are they the ghosts it's, sleeping? Racists around here. <laughs> 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 Terrible. Terrible. 
<laughs> that may the worst cut. kind of ghost. It may not get cut. We will see. Southern ghost, you could say. <laughs> I'd rather find ghosts. Attack them. Uh, <laughs> Just jump on the sheets. Jump on the sheets. We don't like that type of sword around here. Yeah. No, I, I, just, uh, I can see why modern may think they're sleeping ghosts. Well, like, what are they? Or, hang on, and I get closer and I say, lads, you ever notice that ghosts look like tree sheets? I think you're three sheets of the wind. <laughs> oh, I'm more than three <laughs> sheets of the wind. I think. Are we- I, I think this may, um, yeah, I think we are all coming to the same conclusion here. Warren? Ghost naked. Ghost I was thinking naked. that as well. We've got three ghosts <laughs> running around these naked. <laughs> Whatever these ghosts are, they're naked. Oh, oh God, it's pretty cold as well. Uh, oh, give, me, give me a riddle check. Riddle me this. Who? Ooh. Riddles. Never done one of them. Oh, all of these, yeah. 17 plus 5, 22. Come on, high numbers. Ooh, the 14 have plus a... one, 15. 16. Right, so you're in the bush, and all, you start hearing three voices coming from the inn. And they sound like kids' voices. Oh, I thought it was the like, dwarves. I like, thought it was oh. the dwarves. <laughs> and they're, they're kind of arguing with each other. And they're like, I told you we should have come out earlier, Mungo. And I was like, well, I had to do the thing with the <laughs> with the ponies. So <laughs> well, we're going I ahead. couldn't come out. I, I couldn't come out earlier. <laughs> like, That's but, the best one. <laughs> oh, we're going to hell. Well, goes, but Dad said we should have come to, the, 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 that group that were in the thing, the drunk group are coming down now. And we had to be out here before them. But maybe they haven't come out yet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to do his voice anymore. If we're not cancelled, we should be. We should will be. Oh, oh, he's just a big, big lad. <laughs> Anyway, you're okay. hiding, and they get close, and they're like, oh, we have to go get the sheets. So what do you want to do? I want to grab one of them. Come on. Uh, <laughs> oh, guys, 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 can we put the sheets on and jump out on them? Oh, yeah, that's give them better. A taste of their own <laughs> give us a performance Might check. Be a bit short, but it'll manage. A what? Check. Oh, I got an performance. eight. Performance check. Oh, sugar. I got a 19. Okay, so we've got a plus one as well. Plus two, wasn't it? Oh, oh my god, 20. my chest. Hit. 21. <laughs> <laughs> what you get me? 21. Right, so you just put the sheets on and the three hobbit kids are getting closer and they're about to turn around the bush and just jump out and go, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm a ghosty. Pull. <laughs> Not the wharf in the sheet. <laughs> Boo. I'm an elf. Woo. The, the tree kids go, oh no, we have to go tell dad. <laughs> so, there really is some ghosts. And they're like, don't be silly. And they just, the tree them run off back towards the inn. You better run or we'll eat you. <laughs> I don't think ghosts eat people, Warren. Ghosts exist. Oh, they do. So, oh, what do you want to do? A load of um, sheets. <laughs> sheet. <laughs> it, sheet. it was. It was a load of sheets in this particular case, Warren. Yep. Told you now. Ghosts. Well said, Warren. I'm with you, Warren. <laughs> <laughs> Take so, off. You're going, going back to the end? Um, what oh, do you think, guys? We should go in with the sheets. 
It sounds like your man, because he was saying earlier, like, that he, if business was good, that's probably why he was doing this. It does, doesn't it? It's like he's running some sort of um, scam. Uh, eBay. Oh. I mean, I respect the business, to be honest, you know. Oh, but, uh, yeah, it's it's quite um, clever. Yeah, but I could have gotten someone hurt. Like, I'm telling you, lads, on another day, I would have just charged the sheets and attacked them. Yeah, you know? it's a good job to wear in the sheets. Yeah. It is. But they'd be in sheets, you know. I did tell you a child was going to get hurt around here, mm-hmm. did they? Yeah. No, you're right. Let's hope one of them hasn't ran into a barn door. When did Morin turn into Mr. Health and Safety? Well, no, I'm always a dwarves. The one, oh, no, thing, the one rule Sorry, is always Luke bring Frank. a shield. And don't Frank. forget your helmet. Sorry, Luke Frank is Mr. Health I've and said Safety. This before. Where, where do you think the term, if you carry on doing that, someone's going to lose an eye comes from? <laughs> <laughs> right? Luke Frank. Man of wisdom. Of the children. <laughs> Somebody, please. So okay, like, let's go, go back. back. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go and see what uh, what their father's got to say about this. Yeah, like this is none. Yeah, we'll be so like we'll be until we get into him, so not everyone knows. Okay, we'll <laughs> stuff the stuff the sheets inside your cloak just to make sure. Then. So you you head back and all the lights are kind of off. Everyone must be in bed, but Thomas is standing at the door smoking his pipe. Can He's we like, put ah, the so... back on and scare him. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if you want, give me a performance check. No, 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 that's a joke. <laughs> that's a joke. Someone's going to end up dying. That was a joke. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thomas takes out his gun and just starts shooting. <laughs> <laughs> One of you slips on your sheets, bangs your head, dies. <laughs> so he stands there and he goes, So you know my little secret, huh? Uh, little? Well, my kids came back crying that there was real ghosts up at the, the tree farthing stone and I knew it wasn't me and Gilda, so uh, I knew it had to be used. What are you saying? There's no ghosts? They're not real? How much has he had to drink? <laughs> <laughs> this oh, many? And I put up like two hands to point in a different direction of where he stands. <laughs> and then and, and, like another hand comes in, look for it's like I need many as well. Yeah. That's about right. Like there was a bottle somewhere in that. <clears throat> yeah, I'm only doing it because I have the business was failing and I have kids to feed and just if you didn't tell anyone, I could make it worth your while. Go on. Well, Helvins went right out the window, didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> well, I can. Booty. I hear you're going up to Oakbarton. I could uh, give you supplies that would get you up there food, drink, and I could sweeten the pot with another uh, 20 silver. Um, can we can we huddle, guys? Can we huddle? All right, yeah. So, just, 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 Oh wait, you're over here. Um, Sorry, I thought you were the wall. Um, Morin, 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 we're over here. Oh God, you, I thought you were the <laughs> other wall. Sorry, third time lucky. Morin, sorry. Yeah. Uh, Fourth time lucky. Leave him. What should we do? I, I, I just can't. Stand the idea of a child being here so whilst running around in a sheet. I'm more, I'm more thinking of like there's eventually going to be a group of adventurers that you know come at the right time and attack those ghosties, and there'll be people killed. So I, I, um, I don't think we should. I think we should tell them to stop. This is what Bilbo will think if we lie. <laughs> That too. I don't have, good, good, I don't good. have a problem with lying. It's just in this instance, it doesn't seem to save us much of a purpose. Why does Gil always sound like he's crying when he's talking about Mr. Bilbo? He's very <laughs> emotional when it comes to Mr. Bilbo. He gets I a understand. 
You wouldn't He's his mentor, young. like. No, I, I um, yeah, I think, I think he needs to he needs to stop, as of now. Mm-hmm. Do we agree? Yeah. How do we tell? We tell him he stops now, and if we hear that the ghosts are back, we'll come back and make sure the ghosts are gone another way. Maybe we we could say he could do it once a year or something, you know, make a day of it. Well, what date is it today? I don't know. Don't you don't have that. dates like that. <laughs> like, Ooh, what rough time of what? year would this be? It's spring. Start of spring. It's not Maybe awesome, he then. could do it every spring. <laughs> I have a nice. <laughs> <laughs> that was the strangest hell I've ever heard. <laughs> Can you talk to that one? <laughs> <Lufang, laughs> <you> that one? <laughs> yeah, he's gone. He's gone. Oh, he's gone now. He's gone on silent, has he? Okay. He's gone okay. silent, yeah. Ah. Well, he's, maybe he's been turned off. <laughs> so um, okay. Okay, okay. okay so so yeah, so let let's um let's tell him maybe he could make an event of it once a year. Yeah. Um you know, let, let everybody dress up as ghosts and ghouls and goblins and make Guild a day of, of it. Wargs as well, like yeah. our Guild of the Wog Slayer, they could do that. Yeah, they could all oh. dress up as Gil. That'd be deadly. I am a handsome man. Hobby. Man, hobby. Hobby, man. Hobby. Man. I am handsome. You are a hobbit, though, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And what a hobby! <laughs> <clears throat> okay. Yeah. So, so let let's go and deliver the good news then. Gil, would you like to deal with this? Oh, you! You're a big dog, scary. Go. Okay. Let's go then. On huddle. Oh, so, so Th- Thomas, we've we've discussed your offer. Um, unfortunately, we we can't we can't let you carry online to people. Something's. So something's not right with it. We can't let you carry on. But I we've go on, as... please. <laughs> no, no. Well, I'll tell you what, right? We'll make you a deal. If it's if it's business you want, then why don't you have a yearly festival where you can even allow your patrons to dress up as well as ghosts and ghouls and goblins and, and make, you know, make it a bit of fun for to get other people involved. Instead of scaring people. And when do I do this? Um, oof. I mean, you Over. can do it on today's date, if you like, or any day, any day. Just make sure that you send us and let us know. And I'll tell you what, we'll show up to your first one next year. Celebrities, if you will. You can even bring Gil. Yeah, you could even say we talk. Year? No, no, it's better if it's once. But you could tell people it's... that we talk to the ghosts. And we told them, like, they could come out once a year. So that way everybody would be looking for them and, you know, maybe have a they, fence around the area yeah. where it happens. They could become the celebrities of the of the festival then. Do you understand why we have to get you to stop? Someone's going to get hurt if, mm-hmm. we, if this keeps going. Because we nearly, we nearly pounced on those sheets. And if he was any drunker than he was, and they were in them sheets. They'd be three dead kids. Or any me, less drunk. Give me pers- persuasion checks. Persuasion. Can I um, take out my axe for some kind of advantage or something with this? That's intimidation. <laughs> uh, well, more to show him how sharp the blade is and how someone could got him hurt. So I'm quite good at uh, like, or persuasion. 17. No, I'm not good at persuasion. I have 15, but I've got no bonus, so just 15. I got a 19. Just roll me. I'm crap at it. <laughs> what did you get, Gil? 16 and plus 1, 17. Ooh. So he kind of puffs on his pipe and goes, mm, that could work. We could have like a festival and... People will come from everywhere, and this will be the main hub. So I'll make some money as well. 
Indeed. Less oh, bodies, you. more bodies, if you get me. And I'll tell you what, we won't even take a cut of the profits for giving you the idea. Mm -hmm. How's about that? And to, be, to be fair, my, I didn't really like sending me kids out in the dark to do this because like, they could have got hurt. Poor Mungo. Like, he's not the brightest <laughs> tool in the... the <laughs> He just wants to. He just uh, wants to take care of the ponies. That's it. Don't mind me. I'm thinking of a joke earlier that Gil said. Thought, oh, can, 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 that joke can, he said. can I just suggest that you don't buy Mungo any small animals to keep his pets? <laughs> oh, he has a couple of rabbits out back. I think you oh, mean many. had. I know they're, they're still out there. Sometimes he does sit on them, and then we get rabbit <laughs> stew the next night. Well, no more. Tell him Ooh. to lay off the lead paint. <laughs> okay, uh, so that's a deal. As long as you don't tell anyone what happened, I'll be happy to do this. And I'll tell it, you what. Go on, go on, Martin. Oh no, I was just saying, if you want to hang up some decorations of, uh, you know, Gil, uh, the Wog Slayer, and Co, you're more than welcome. Gil and well, the boys, you're more than welcome to. I don't mind. Now be Gil and the Busters of Ghosts. Ah. Oh. And you know, that makes me feel good. I keep on saying that. It does. <coughs> Sorry. Yes, I, I agree. Of his kids having the piss in the corner. Don't cross the stream, Mungo. <laughs> <laughs> Ghostbuster joke. <laughs> he got it. <laughs> he goes, yeah, that's great. I'll tell you what, to, because there's no hard feelings and because you didn't kill my kids I will let, we're nice let, like that we're nice yeah. like that yeah. <laughs> I let you you stay here tonight for free but ah, the, the drinks and stuff you'll have to pay well Bilbo will have to pay for <laughs> uh, is, did Bilbo has Bilbo woken up during all this at all now no he has he's, he's out cold yeah. he's been researching and studying for days so he's I'll well earned rest to... Lodgings then. Uh, I, uh, can I get a nightcap before I go to sleep? Fuck. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fair enough. <laughs> I'm so out of it, I don't think it's... I don't, I don't know what's guilt. And right, there's our one F-bomb for the week. <laughs> no. <laughs> I technically, I think we had two. I think I accidentally said it. But... I, uh, I said it at the start. Damn. So he goes, I'll say goodnight to you, so, and I'll see you in the morning. See you in the morning. Don't forget, keep them kids away from them sheets. The only sheets they'll be touching is to wash them because they're good old hard workers. He clicks his fingers and the two kids run over. Bed, now! <laughs> You've really got them well trained, Thomas. I appreciate this. It's it's very good. Can I, can I just make a suggestion now? Could you tell them to stop climbing that rock, please? But that's a that's a game. Everyone does that. Well, it explains a lot about hobbits then. Yeah, well, fun. We're, we're good climbers. We have yep. fun. This they're sturdy. They bounce back. God. Look at Mongo. He fell a couple of times and he's grand. <laughs> yeah, the young whippersnapper. Like nothing wrong with him. He's fine. No. Look at him over there. Lick, anyway. Him over there licking the wall. He's grand. Oh, he's, he's, no, he is. There's nothing wrong with him. He's, he's smarter than he's wolf I've ever met. I'll tell you that. Yep. Well, you, you, tell you what, you take good care of your pony, which he has done. He's fed her and he's brushed her mane and stuff. So, Thank you very much. She'll That's be right as rain in the morning. He, he's nice in a better man. humor when she's been looked after. Right, so you just, you just go to bed. Indeed. Retire to Go to bed and you just have a nice sleep. And then... Morin's out in second. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Morin's puking all night. I'm not dwarven constitution. <laughs> I think I'll be fine. Give me a constitution check. <laughs> I'm not going to finish this. There's no constitution myself. check, is there? Okay. Do you have any? You see, I keep thinking D D, but are dwarves as good as? Wait. Do they get anything? Right. What, what do I roll? Oh, right. The funny thing is, I rolled a five, but 
It's not that funny. I have a plus six to constitution checks, saving throws, so that's 11. That's grand. He just snores throughout the night and okay. keeps you two awake. I don't, I don't have to sleep anyway. Four hours is good enough for me. I'm happy. <laughs> so, we leave it there, will we? That's a, that's a good place for a break. It is indeed. Yeah. Mm. That was day one. <laughs> and that was a lot of fun. Day two. Of 26 days. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, <friends. laughs>